Hello everybody and welcome to my single player The Sons of the Forest playthrough. So that tiny branch broke his back. I don't know why I just saw the guy fall and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Here we are. I'm gonna do the same thing we do every time. Loot everything. Pick up a bunch of stuff. Up out Kelvin. Now you can choose to help him or I've actually heard people killing him right at the beginning, but I don't wanna do that because I need him. I wanna use him, you know, because he's a very useful person. Uh, this is on normal difficulty, nothing crazy, nothing different. It's all just the exact same way and night one of the game to be played. And this is going to be my solo playthrough. We are playing as a group, which has made it a lot easier to go through caves and whatnot. But for now, we're just going to leave it. Alright, let's see, what do we want? Fish? Gonna get him to start collecting some fish. We'll grab some sticks. We'll grab the rest of the stuff and then we'll make a few fish to heal up. I think we need about four or three. And he's got his first mission. And we have one too. So welcome, welcome people. This is going to be one that I'm not streaming. It's entirely going to be um, recording only on YouTube exclusive content. Still getting some weird lag. Um, it's at least it's a lot better. So on multiplayer, you get like 40 frames all the time. At least here, I'm getting 60 for the most part. Then it'll dip. It dips down a little bit lower every now and then. He's already got a fish there for us. We want to pick up all these little pebbles as much as we can. We're full on rocks. We already looted that one and that one. Should be a couple more around here somewhere. That one, some flares. 
some mushrooms on the ground. Craft a few of these things up. Some sticks will make a fire. Okay, well here's another fish, so we will quickly make a fire up. Tab is our inventory, I forgot we changed the button. Quickly unlock our basic stuff. And we will get... Just equip everything once. Only need one stick for a small little fire, what we want to do with it. Throw our three fish on there. One, two, three. Put that away. We're going to quickly hotkey our inventory slots, so that's going to be one for the axe. And we don't really need anything else on a hotkey yet. You will put grenades on five. So now we just wait for the fish to change color, and then we can eat it up. There's one, there's two, and there's three. I like how you can move and eat now. Much better. Alright, let's eat all three of these. Yum. Eating that head off that fish. Delicious. That'll put us to full health, full food, full everything. A good way also, if you want to collect the small little creatures here and there, is you get a log. And I have a little Twitch clip, or uh, sorry, a, a YouTube short of this. You pretty much cut down a log. There it goes. So you take a log. You go and find a bird like this one here. Throw the log. And do squirrels as well. It's a little harder to hit the squirrels. But you, uh, you get the gist. I think it works best with birds because birds will always land relatively close to you and they don't move too quickly. You can even get them in the air too. Oh, there's a bunch of feathers. Also take your axe out and just smack it a few times to make sure it's all the feathers that are gone out of it. That's just early game feathers at the beginning when you need to get a bow and arrow and whatnot. He's already given plenty. Pretty much time to stop now. We're gonna go and do something. There you go. Oh, oh, I didn't want to eat the raw one, man. Come on. We are gonna come back out of this this area at least once, so we're just gonna make a few small little things here. So we'll switch over modes to the prefab stuff. We're gonna make a hunting shelter. And then we're also gonna make a drying rack. And we'll just tell him to finish these structures. Build, finish structures. We'll also make a stick thing and a rock thing. There's a rock storage and then our stick storage. He will gather it all for us. We don't have to worry about it. I will grab these logs because why not help him out? Just one more log here we need to worry about. Make a couple arrows up now since we can most likely do that now. Just need the little pebbles, which are pretty hard to find, but it's good if you actually need to clear an area with a log. Like if you have a lot of bushes or whatever, you just go here, just throw the log down, and then it clears all the spots up. You can also do it with an axe, but that's entirely up to you how you want to do it. This way well, it won't give you the leaves, the other way it will. And if you want to use leaf armor or your stealth, it's an option as well. Change the map by pressing the middle mouse button there, in case you guys didn't know. And we gotta go over there, directly in front of us, facing towards that green and purple uh, marker. That's gonna be where the modern axe is, which is gonna be the probably one of the best weapons, in my opinion, in this game. Before we do, let's make up a couple things. So we can make a crafted spear and stone arrows. The knife, that's our spear. The spear is gonna be for the fingers in the caves. We're gonna hotkey that to number two. And then also now we're going to need to make a bow, but we have no rope. Fortunately, we spawned right next to the cave. And the cave's just down the way here. We're going to walk down here and grab some rope. So there's going to be two bins. MREs, energy drinks. Two more MREs again. Rope. 
alcohol bottle, and then there's some stuff in here we're gonna go get real quick. You don't have to go and finish the thing if you don't want to. This cave, I believe, gives you the rope gun, which is important. So there's some cloth here that we need. Watches, canned food, raw meat. Pretty sure that's it in here. You could keep going, but right now we're not going to. Just make sure you pick up all the little things in here. And then the next time you log in, you'll have obviously everything respawned. So you have a little bit more cloth that you'll be able to build some more stuff with. That opened up a few recipes for us. So we're going to put our lighter away and we're going to see what we can make now. We can make a crafted bow, rope, duct tape, and the two sticks. Very useful. That's going to be our number third slot. So we're going to have axe, spear, and then bow. We also can make a torch, uh, but I've never used a torch in the game. Honestly, I don't believe it's very good. The amount of light that reflects back towards you is a crazy amount, and the lighter just works the best. So just take a bunch of these feathers and throw them in there, however many you have. Same with the small rocks. The more you make of something, the quicker you make it. So it's always something to consider. If you have enough to make it quite a few different or at least max it, then by all means do it. Just have your mouse over there and every time you're done you just right click again. Okay, we're full on arrows now. There's our bow, there's our spear, and there's our axe. We can pick up a few more sticks since obviously we used a bunch. Getting the bow and getting some arrows. There's also some blueberries here. It's always good to eat something at least once so you know if it's good for you or not. But they're blueberries. We all know blueberries are good for you. The nice thing is, I just realized you can, um, as you saw there, you get an animation, but if you continually eat during the animation, you just go right through it. These are going to be poisonous, but we're going to pick them up because why not? There's going to be a stun baton right here. And you can't pick up any of those skulls, sadly. There's going to be two baskets over here, or, or boxes, I should say. More MREs. They always change, whatever's in them. It's very hard to use the bow when you're crouched. The aiming is very far off, in my opinion. But once you get used to it, you'll be shooting heads off of everything from, like, miles away. Oh, geez, spring-loaded. The deer are going to be the best because they're going to give you the animal hide. The other one down there has the arrow in it still. Just off to the right hand side. And I'm being charged. We're full on meat. I'm going to pick up that arrow. I don't know where that deer went with the arrow in its leg, but usually they don't go too far, so you can find them Tracking is a thing in this game, so you just have to look around the area, see if you find anything with an arrow sticking out of its leg, or a spear in that case, because you, if you miss your spear, they'll run around with a spear in their leg. Not seeing any deer ducked around here, so safe to say that it's probably fled the area. So we've lost an arrow, and I'm pretty sure we've lost more than one, but try to get that deer right in the head there. Gosh, I can't see anything. Right, we'll, we'll gather up again. So there's some meat there we can put on the drying rack since we have six pieces on us. Put six on there. Right, we can only put five. And if you open something while your inventory is, while you're moving, it, it like pivots you around. It's, it's very strange. Put the other drying rack there. It was loaded up with food. So dry meat does does reduce your thirst while we're in the while we, while we are in the cave we're gonna get him to fill up some sticks we're gonna bring two pieces of fish with us by the way when you're running around you can pick up a lot of stuff so don't ever feel like you can't just grab it while you're here and if you have a weapon out you hold the you'll hold you'll hold your GPS completely still very weird but Always flowers are always a good thing to grab as well, like mixes, herb mixes and whatnot are always super useful. They were in the first one, they are in this one as well. You always want to be using them. Sometimes you can run up on deer as well, if they're, especially if they're crouching or resting. 
it's very easy to get up on them and just start smacking them a few times. But like I said, unless you can get a neck shot or a head shot with a spear, don't waste your only spear by throwing it at them. Because you're going to lose it. But there should be a camp really close to us here. Oh, there's one right there. Muddy guys. They're not going to attack us. There's some C4 stuff. There's going to be some flares in here. There's some duct tape. You can hold it to turn off if you if you don't want to listen to the music. He's looking at us. The duct tape. And there's the modern axe right there. Energy drinks. And you can break laptops for electrical boards and the these stereos if you want. Pills laying around. We're going to take the pills because we are missing a sliver of health. So we might as well use it up. More C4. You can save it if you want. There's some alcohol there. Like I said, they're pretty much just an annoyance. They'll just pester you for a while. And then they'll eventually leave you alone. There's one right there. You don't really want to run up on them either. Because they do get pretty scared pretty easily. And they'll they'll freak out at you. And that's pretty much it. Where all the things we're going to find here. Oh, that thing ran up on me there. There's about four of them around here, so we'll just head on out. We'll head up the hill to get to the purple thing. See, there you go. They're just jumping in the, the bushes at us. They're not going to fight you for the most part. They're just testing you out. They want to know what the hell your deal is. And they're very common to be around points of interest and other things like that. I think the more items you find, the quicker you'll run into cannibals. So this can be done two ways. If you have a bow... There we go. Hit the rope. There's going to be a flashlight. GPS. Flashlight's right there. And there you go. I have a flashlight. There is some other stuff up top as well. So what you can do is... You can go up top. You can remove the rope that way as well. You can just hit it. There you go. There's some rope. There's some energy bars. And it's going to be pitch black relatively soon. So we're quite away from Kelvin. What we can do is simply go into our inventory, grab a tarp, and then we're just going to sleep. We're going to save it. Day two, press C, and you can pick up the tarp and the uh, stick. So that way you're not wasting anything. So right here is going to be the cave where the, th the 3D printer is at. Here it is. A cave without marks on the door. So without wood. Usually in... I'm pretty sure that's how that works. If a cave has wood things plastered up against it, chances are it is a uh, combat cave. That's why it's been blocked off. Because they don't want the things coming out of the caves. And I think as soon as you go through it once, that's when mutants and stuff will start coming out. Always build a flask first. Very useful first item. Now there's only a couple things down here that you really got to worry about. Like I said, there's no monsters in this cave. You don't have to worry about it. But there's a couple watches here. And then there's a key card down here. And if you're wanting to have different light sources, you can just hotkey each of them like 9 and 8. So now when I press 8, it'll take out the lighter. Then I press 9, it'll take out the flashlight. Because remember, the flashlight has batteries. You're going to want to be careful with using it too much. Obviously you do get a ton of batteries so it's not really that big of an issue I guess now you can either go with so it says there's a thousand resin in there so you can get a sled and a sled is pretty useful for getting around hills and stuff now if you have any resin left you can shove it in there we have 150 which will allow us to do what okay three sets of arrows probably could have made a mask or something but I really don't like the mask so we will wait here until the arrows are done. Alright, and our arrows are done. We don't have any more resin. Sometimes there's some stuff in these carts you can look through, but I haven't found anything in this area that's really worth too much. So that little dot will stay there the whole time, because obviously we haven't gone through that maintenance shed, so you need the VIP maintenance little uh, key card to get in there. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure the more you progress in the storyline, it's going to be more frequently that you're going to run into cannibals. Because I remember the, the first playthrough I had on this game, um, I didn't really run into any cannibals until I started doing caves and stuff. Always some random stuff. So batteries, we don't really have anything to put the batteries in right now. We can't build any Molotovs right now. We're full on meds as well. Duct tape, more vodka bottles that we can't hold. 
So you should you can write down like where you find the stuff if it helps you out. Try and find it again at a later date. But you know from here to here there's following the roads usually gives you a good little bit of stuff. And then there's some golf balls and then a note which we are going to read which says from Miles Goldstein to Hank Keys. Hank, you spent all this time setting up a golf course and you haven't ordered any golf clubs or balls? How are we supposed to play golf? Miles Goldstein. These look like flowers, but they're not. They're just ambient things. So we have a little bit of a base. Thanks to Kelvin here, we've got some sticks, which he has almost entirely filled up. And some rocks, which we can help him out with the rocks, since there's so many big rocks sitting around here. Though I didn't realize there is a cannibal camp that's literally just up the road right here. So there is some rope and some tarp and, and cloth and stuff. Full on skulls, we can make a club. Let's do that real quick. Ooh, nice little lag getting in the inventory there. Always good to just make everything once just so you understand what... And you get that little exclamation mark gone. Cat food. Is very good. And I'm not saying that because it looks absolutely disgusting. I'm saying it because crafting, uh, eating it gives you a lot of hunger. And plus you can hold a bunch of cat food and you can hold a bunch of canned food. So, gives you a nice little balance of both. This trail goes down there. I haven't found anything further down here for cannibal camps. Remember that materials you gather are seasonal, so you're not going to be able to find them year round. And if you're playing on a normal difficulty where you haven't fiddled and changed the length of the, the days or whatever, chances are you're going to go through a season relatively quickly. That's two hits with the modern axe on a deer. Though it is a small deer, it's just kind of to show you the, the how tough the modern axe is. So there's all of our meat. Like I said, the dried stuff is going to last a lot longer. But it is going to lower your thirst. So it's up to you what you want to do. I've pretty much found that if you go and make a fire and cook the meat and then put the cooked meat on there, it will last longer. It will spoil still, but I find it does last longer on the drying rack. Keep forgetting you can't get that last. You can't get the last one if you crouch. It'll be hidden down at the bottom. See the last two there? Now we wait for the food to be done. It will change color. It's very apparent when it does change color. See right there. Sometimes it's good to just break the fire so that Kelvin doesn't hurt himself on it. What we could do is essentially build a little hut here. There's a small cabin you can build, a lookup tower or whatever, a tree platform. But I've actually really wanted to build a tree shelter and I think that's what we're going to build. So that is going to be our job. Well, I, and I say our job, I mean Kelvin's job. Sure, I think that's pretty good. Now, I don't really know, I've had it happen before, that Kelvin's randomly just broken down a tree that the house is on. So I hope he doesn't do that. Eventually, I will build a house in a nicer spot, but build and finish the structure. We're going to cut down the trees. Hopefully, he listens. 